So we welcome back the great Dane to Vita Tennis. Thank you. Great to have you back in Australia. What have you been doing since, uh, I guess, in the last three years since you worked with us here at Vita? Um, obviously, I went back to Denmark, and um, I've been working with my own club back there in uh, a small, not a small town, but a 300,000 people town called Aarhus, the second biggest town in, in Denmark. Um, been working with my own club with about 650 members, and had a fair bit of work with the Danish, uh, Danish Tennis Federation as well as a travel coach for the best players in Denmark. So. That's about what I've been up to. Yeah, so busy, busy. Busy, busy. So what brings you back to Australia? Um, I married an Aussie girl from uh, Melbourne, um, and we decided it was time to um, come back to her place and like st trying to um, to live in, in Melbourne as well as we lived in Denmark. Nice. So yes. now you're back with Vita. What's, yep. uh, what's going to be your role as of the, the start of next term? Um, so first of all, I'm very excited about working with Vita. Um, I'm very excited being a part of the Veneto club out in Berlin. Um, I'm looking forward to be um, the head coach of the Trinity Grammar School as well. Um, so lots of good stuff is happening next term. Yeah, so taking on that role at Trinity Grammar, um, yep. team, a team sport, have you, have you seen much sort of team school versus school uh, team environment in tennis before? No, nah, it's not a big part of the Danish um, society to have like school sport like that, but we do a lot of team events uh, with the club. So I've been a big part of that in Denmark, but I'm looking very much forward to see how it works here. And um, yeah, it's going to be a great experience. Experience, yes. Awesome, wow. From all, uh, all those associated with Vita out there, we welcome Chris to the team again. Thank you. And um, I'm sure you'll catch up with him very soon on the court.